Hello, Rose and Joanna. Uh, here is a short video that I am using to just give you some feedback on how you modeled your parts um, because I won't get to talk to you again before uh, the Christmas break. And just remember, after the Christmas break, you need to have modeled your uh, new parts, done your redesign, and emailed your parts and assembly file and cura file to me. Um, and so I'm just wanting to give you some feedback on how you modeled these parts so that you don't make the same mistakes uh, as you did on on the first one. Okay. Now I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about the uh, actual, let's say, design flaws that you had. I uh, talked about uh, that with you in class and I think you, all, you guys missed the lab time where I talked more about that. Um, anyway, the obvious one is that this thickness is way too small. It's like 0.1 millimeters when it should be much bigger than that. I don't know, maybe 5 millimeters or bigger. I, anyway, okay, so that's an obvious flaw. Um, the same with this. I mean, that thickness is really thin, okay? and this was actually that's really thin as well too small so anyway you need to do a lot of work on the redesign but this video is not talking about that is talking about the modeling okay so here's how I grade your modeling part um, I, I, I go through and look at okay first our sketch is defined okay yes that sketch is fully defined you have it as 50 and 100 Okay, let's look here. Uh, you have fully constrained this to be tangent there and tangent there. That's good. So the, lo the location is defined as well as the size. That's good. And then you mirrored it. Excellent. So those two are linked. Very good. Um, okay, well this doesn't seem to be defined. Look at this. Oh, okay, never mind. It actually is. Okay, you've done a good job there. The line yeah, you've constrained it to start at the top there and to be constrained to these corners. So, excellent. Very good. You mirrored it, and that's great. Okay, let's go look at one of these tabs. Okay, well, you've got the width defined, but not this. Whoop. Yeah, so one thing, notice, you have not made this should be tangent with that, okay? Now, even if that's tangent, you also have not defined this height here. Okay, so you need to add some dimension here, and I don't make it whatever you want, but it needs to be defined as the point. Okay. All right, and then what else? You have your hole. That's defined. Excellent, and then you mirrored. Okay. Very good. Okay, let's look at this one. Um, you first made a, a sketch of a circle and extruded. That's good. Okay, this next one, excellent. Um, all right, now to make this hole, I see what you did. You made a work plane tangent and then you extruded through all. And, or you extruded through this way and then you mirrored it to that side. There's a much easier way to do this. I'll show you that here in a minute. But one other thing to show you is this circle, you have not defined the location of it here. Notice it's not defined. Okay, so uh, you should you should add a dimension here. Okay, I don't know whatever you need. You need to determine what that is, but it needs to be defined. Okay, now here's the better way to actually model this though. Okay, well you have a plane that goes through the middle of this already. Okay, so let's take that plane and now I'm going to add a construction line here and now I can make a circle on that construction line and you can define a dimension and distance, okay? But the point is, now you see where that is, that's in the middle. And I'm going to extrude both ways, go through all, and do it as a cut. So in that way, you don't even have to mirror. Okay? 
So that would be a better way to do that. So the same thing here, uh, when you made this, you made that plane and then extruded from that plane. When the better thing to do, instead of doing that, you could have deleted all of that and actually made a sketch on this plane here that goes through the middle. All right, you could make your holes there. I can constrain that to here. Sorry, let me undo that. I was trying to constrain the midpoint of that to this point. Okay, that's better. I can add a dimension like this. Make it five. Let's, whoop, that's too big. That's all right. Let's add a dimension there is five. Okay. The point is that you see where I've made that. It's not on an edge. It's right in the middle, and I would extrude this symmetrically is the point. Okay. That's much better. Okay. So other than that, uh, y'all did a pretty decent job on your modeling. Now make sure you make your design changes as needed and hopefully your second design iteration uh, will work this time. Okay, so spend some time over Christmas break. Um, enjoy your Christmas break as well. So hopefully that, that video helps.